Here, though, joins us now from downtown Cedar Rapids with some experiments to show us just how the heat is affecting us in different ways. Yes, Hannah, what are you testing for us this afternoon? Hey, Dim, uh, Jim, Danielle, Joe, it is a really hot one out here. Like Joe mentioned, we are in the hundreds. So I have with me several different colored shirts, courtesy of Joe. We've got white all the way to black, and we're going to test to see if light colored shirts really are cooler than darker colored shirts. All right, first let's test with our IR thermometer, the white shirt. The white shirt is at 106. All right, so now our yellow shirt, Yellow shirt is at 118, so already seeing these temperatures go up. Now let's test our red shirt. Looks like the red shirt's at 124. And our blue shirt, looks like the blue shirt is at 120, looks like it's at 127, You're bouncing from 127 around there. Let's uh, check the black shirt. Looks like our black shirt is around 121. So in general, it looks like the darker colored shirts really are seeing those higher temperatures, which is why we like to tell people to wear lighter color clothing uh, in heat like this. So lighter colors like the yellow and the white, those really seem to be a little bit better than these darker colors. So um, if you're heading outside today, which honestly I don't recommend, uh, make sure to wear that light, loose weighted clothing. Coming up in the next half hour, I have another experiment with water showing again how these darker colors really do end up causing the temperatures to rise when you're uh, wearing those darker colors.